What's up guys, Jordan here from Show Me Vegas. Hey, I'm on the Las Vegas Strip and it's dinner time and I want some crab legs. Coincidentally, I'm going to a place where I can get all the crab legs I want and a whole lot more. They just raised the price of the Bacchanal Buffet to $85 per person for dinner. That's before tax and tip. Can it possibly be worth that much? Well, that's what you got me for. I'm gonna go find out and you guys are coming along. So I got in and got seated here at the Bacchanal Buffet. First things first, the $85 price actually must just apply to weekends only. It was $79.99. That was pleasant surprise number one. The other thing is you're definitely going to want to make a reservation here. Even on a Tuesday, this place was totally full. I overheard somebody without a reservation being told it would be more than an hour. And this is a Tuesday at 545. I had a reservation for 545 and I got in exactly at 545 on the dot. I now have 90 minutes to eat $80 worth of food. Can I do it? All right, so I have been here one other time and I remember it fairly well. We'll do a quick flyby and just see where the stations are before we start loading up the plate. All right, back here in the back room, looks like in the far corner we've got the Asian section. This is right up my alley. All right, I'm gonna go through without a plate the first time so I can show you what we have. We've got stir fry vegetables, bang bang shrimp, black pepper beef, salt and pepper frog legs back there in the back. Up here in the front, some general chicken, smoked pork ribs and some fried rice, carved duck roast right back there. Ginger and garlic clams in the front, shiitake pot stickers, vegetable spring rolls, crab rangoon. I'm not going to lift all the lids on this, but we've got barbecue pork buns right there, shrimp hargao, shumai, and leek cake dumplings. Moving along, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's glass noodles. Kalbi short ribs, assorted banchan, Korean chicken back there in the back, and right here is the kimchi fried rice. Of course, you got steamed jasmine rice over here, edamame, shishito peppers, you got spicy edamame, and regular. Right around the corner from that, we've got poke. Looks delicious. Forbidden rice bowl. And then we've got your sushi rolls. Sushi on a buffet is always hit or miss, but I feel like if you're going to have it somewhere, the Bacchanal is the place to have it. Assorted sushi. Filipino pork skewers. Whole roasted pig right here. Check that out. He's looking right at us. All right, first of all, don't laugh at my small portions because I want to try as much as possible and I'm by myself, so nobody's here to clean up after me. I got to get small portions. I went to the Asian section first because that's just the furthest one away and I wanted to work my way down. I love Asian food, so I got a little bit of everything. Here's the plate. Got some kimchi fried rice, the glass noodles, just because they always look so cool. Got a vegetable spring roll. That dumpling, I forgot what it's called, but it's got pork and shrimp in it. One piece each of the volcano roll and the bacchanal roll, boom boom shrimp, general chicken, and some tuna poke. All right, straight into it. I'm gonna go for the sushi first because I love sushi. I'm just gonna eat it with a fork because I didn't wanna pick up a pair of chopsticks for two slices of sushi, and I also don't wanna use my fingers, so don't laugh at me. 
that was the bacchanal roll. It has um, shrimp tempura in it. Several other things I already forgot exactly. That's pretty good. It's fresh. It's not something I want to fill up on. You know, you can do all you can eat sushi in numerous places in Vegas for like $35. So, I'm not going to fill up on sushi when I'm paying 80 bucks for the buffet. The general chicken. That's good. That's really good. It's got a nice heat. The batter is really good too. I would definitely get that. Of course, at these Vegas buffets, you don't get alcoholic beverages included. You can purchase a beverage package. I didn't even look to see how much it was. I got myself a Diet Pepsi and a water. Okay, the Boom Boom Shrimp are outstanding. That is phenomenal. Again, a really light, crispy batter and just a little bit of heat. If you don't like spicy, you might think it's quite a bit of heat. I think it's just a little bit. But those are excellent. I could go for more of those. Okay, Asian section complete, and we're off to a great start because that was a great plate of food. I pretty much liked everything on the plate. The kimchi fried rice wasn't my favorite because it was a little too sticky. Everything else on the plate was absolutely phenomenal. I could definitely go for more of that, but I gotta keep moving on. On to the next section. And now for the section you've all been waiting for. At least I've been waiting for the seafood section. We've got steamed crab legs. I'll be back for you. Kimchi barbecue oysters seem to be missing, so is the grilled octopus. That'll be out later, I'm sure. Shrimp and grits. New England seafood boil. And then there you see everybody lined up for the main show over there. All right, over here we've got Pen Cove mussels, Jonah crab claws, Cortez clams, Dungeness crab, And get me one of those to compare it to the snow crab. We've got shrimp cocktail. These are great looking shrimp. Throw a couple of those on for now. We've got chilled crab legs and they had steamed crab legs over on the other side. Let's get a couple of chilled ones. And right next to that, the lobster claws. I'm not a huge fan of the claw meat on lobsters, but you know what? I'm going to get one while I'm here. Whelks, sea snails, Cajun poached prawns, and down here, everything you need to dip your seafood, mignonette, California lemons, and a little bit of cocktail sauce. Let's get a little cocktail sauce for the shrimp. <laughs> All right, the seafood has arrived. I've got a crab feast in front of me. I did go back and get some steamed crab legs as well. They actually serve those to you. I guess that's to keep people from just taking like 10 claws at a time. They want to shame you into taking smaller portions, but you can just come back as many times as you want. I also got a, a lobster claw, a couple of a very good looking shrimp from the shrimp cocktail section, some Dungeness crab and chilled crab legs. So uh, three different types of crab legs and a lobster claw, a couple of shrimp. This is what I'm really here for. Oh yeah, you gotta get really excited when the meat pulls out, just like this. That's what she said. <laughs> no jokes about that statement. Let's give the shrimp a try. That's really good. All right, the crab's a hit. If you don't know the difference between Dungeness crab and snow crab, um, the meat is a little bit more firm. These are chilled, and it's not quite as flavorful to me than as, as uh, snow crab, so I don't really know. I won't be getting any more of the Dungeness because I think the snow crab is just 10 times better. But uh, the meat doesn't come out quite as whole. It's a little more firm. It's okay. Uh, if you like crab, you'll like it. And yeah, it's a lot more work because the meat doesn't want to come out nearly as well. There's a good piece. All right, I think it's about time to get into this lobster claw. It's a little sharp. All of the crab and lobster is pre-scored. You can see that line right there. So it makes it easier to break. They give you crackers, but, well, I, I might need it for this. There we go. That's good. 
but for me, I stick with the snow crab all day long. Now that is a piece of lobster claw meat right there. So I just go, just go all the way with it. So it wouldn't be a buffet without the salad bar. Different salads. Tricolor salad, ancient grain salad, Asian noodle, spinach and berries, Cleopatra, Bloody Mary deviled eggs right there, burrata and apricots, crostini, caviar. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I'll show it to you. There you go. Gourmet butter. I'm a butter man. I, you know what? Who needs anything to put it on? But it is, of course, right next to the bread. Walnut raisin bread. Corn bread. Crackers. I don't think I'll fill up on crackers. Baby brioche rolls. Sourdough. Bread sticks. And right next to that is the charcuterie. Everything looks outstanding. All right, moving left of where we just were. Looks like we're getting into the Latin foods. Salsa, chicharrones, guacamole, tortilla chips, habanero salsa right there. That looks hot. And duros, chili and lime. Right next to that, you've got fresh juices, pineapple, manganata, ube horchata, strawberry, kiwi, virgin mimosa. And he's going to top this off right now. <laughs> Around the corner, we're getting into the real Mexican food now. We've got shrimp tostadas right there. Those look great. Mexican churros, al pastor tacos, Sonoran street dogs. Look at that. That looks great. Enjoy. Fried plantains, a duck carnitas, quesadilla. And right here is where he's making the quesadillas. It takes a lot of people to keep a buffet like this going. Yucca Stadium Fries. Don't really know what that means, but we've got beans, roasted chicken, pozole rojo, tortillas over here, ceviche. Ashton would be all over this. There's three different varieties. Chili right over here. Impossible Burger Stroganoff. That actually looks really good. Spring Vegetable Medley. And then we're into the carving station. Roast Turkey. Porchetta. Truffle Roasted Chicken and Grilled Quail. Look at the quail right there. Look at that Truffle Roasted Chicken. Well, that looks outstanding. Got your vegetables over here next to the carving station, smoked fish potato salad, sorry, iceberg wedge salad, and fresh sliced watermelon. They don't call it a salad, but it looks like a salad to me. Of course, right next to that, we get into the real carving station, the red meats. We got roasted bone marrow. Nashville chicken and waffles and wood grilled lamb t bones. The big meats, smoked brisket, beef steamship, prime rib, grilled tri tip. Got your sauces the au jus, the barbecue sauce, and the peppercorn sauce. More of the same down here. Down here we've got some buffalo spice chicken wings. Those look good. It's a, it's a dry rub, it looks like. We've got mashed potatoes, smoked gouda, kabatapi, cream spinach, eat your greens, they call that. Eat your greens. Asparagus, peas, edamame, snap peas, and butter. And then corn on the cob. It looks like street corn. 
Right next to that is gumbo, and you've even got a crawfish on top of it. Bacchanal sliders and barbecue train wreck fries. All right, the Latin section. I can't possibly get everything up there. And Mexican and Latin foods are not my favorite. I'm more of a Asian and seafood eater. That's why I went with those two stations first. But there were some really good looking things up there. I got a uh, shrimp tostada. I got an al pastor taco. I got the uh, ceviche, and I can't remember what the name of it was, but it's in a spicy tomato sauce. And then I got one of the Yucca Stadium fries because I had to just figure out what the heck this was. It's like a chewy french fry. It's extremely dense. I wouldn't eat very many of those because that'll fill you up in a hurry. All right, let's dive right into this tostada. It's stacked really high, so I'm gonna make a mess out of this. I just know it. I didn't get any shrimp in that first bite, but I see it. Refried beans are really good. There's some like pickled onions on there. I wouldn't go back for seconds. It's it's pretty filling. Let's give the Al Pastor taco a try. Looks like it's double corn tortillas here. That's a winner. Again, like the tostada, very dense. The corn tortilla is pretty dense. So a couple of those would start to fill you up too. Spicy tomato base. It's kind of like shrimp marinated in a spicy Bloody Mary. I'm gonna go with on that. Good, not great. I would say that about pretty much everything I got from the Latin station, good, not great. Again, it's not my favorite type of food. Um, I do remember the last time I was here, I had that street corn. I think it's just, they've got it labeled as just corn on the cob, but it looks like Mexican street corn. And I really enjoyed that last time. So unless that's changed, I would recommend that. Okay, because there is a time limit on this, and because I'm trying to film a YouTube video at the same time as eating, I am already down to my last 15 minutes, and we haven't even seen the dessert section yet. That's a little bit of a gripe that everybody has about this buffet is the 90 minute time limit. I think that's not enough. I think that's not enough time. I mean, I have been filming and I have made trips up there just to film the buffet. But even if I were just eating the entire time, with the crowd in here and the lines at all the stations, I don't think 90 minutes is enough. If you're paying $80, you should get a little bit more time than that. All right, dessert time. Let's just start right here in this corner. Hey, with what everybody wants, the tangerines, right? I'm just going to come over here and get that. Oh, look here, pineapple upside down cake, chocolate lava cake. Should be cinnamon rolls right there, but they're not out at the moment. Egg tarts. Should be chocolate chip cookies right there, but they're not out at the moment. And then here is the gelato. On the other side of the gelato, chocolate cake, strawberry shortcake, creme brulee, definitely going to be getting some of that. Ube chiffon cake, banana cream pie, and blue Hawaii. Look at that, that looks great. Cotton candy cupcakes. Mini hazelnut donuts. Oreo peanut butter dream. Berry cheesecake. S'mores Delight past that. Then, of course, right past that is the crepe station. Fresh crepes. You see them putting fresh berries up on there. Like I said, I don't have time to wait for a crepe. Espresso cones and raspberry cones. Chocolate apricot tart. <laughs> Gala apples and assorted melons, including pineapple. Lemon blueberry panna cotta. It's kind of like a jello shot. Tiramisu. Stacked up here. Vietnamese coffee coupe. coupe? I don't know how you pronounce that. Vegan strawberry cake. Looks pretty good, even if it is vegan. NSA blueberry cheesecake is missing. Raspberry panna cotta. Chia seed pudding. And back around to the tangerines. 
All right, it's dessert time. I said I was on the clock. I didn't even have time to look at the gelato because there was a big line for it. And I'm now down to seven minutes. I don't know if they're going to kick me out right at 90 minutes, but we're running into it. I got some pineapple upside down cake, creme brulee, of course, the chocolate lava cake, banana cream pie, strawberry shortcake, blue Hawaii, and an espresso cone. And I've got to eat these quick. Start with the espresso cone. That's terrific. I'm going to be light on the descriptions here because, like I said, running out of time. Pineapple upside down cake. I literally burnt my fingers getting that bowl and also this plate that the lava cake was on. It was so ridiculously hot. Maybe I should have just screamed and I'd get my 80 bucks back. Pineapple upside down cake. The cake is spongy. It looks really good. Yep. That's terrific. Creme brulee time. I like it. The custard is a little more, I mean, this is not a word, but the custard is a little more eggy, if you will, than I'm used to. But it's really good. As far as creme brulee goes, I give that a, I give that a seven and a half out of ten. It's good. I'm a big fan of strawberry shortcake, so this this should be right up my alley. The cake is really moist. And it has like a strawberry mousse on top of it. But the cake itself is really moist, and that's good. Yep, I'm a big fan of that. Four minutes to go. Chocolate lava cake. Oh, death by chocolate. I don't know how some people don't like chocolate. I mean, I know people. some people like it more than others, but some people just don't like chocolate. If that's you, put it in the comments. Have you always been that way? I mean, it's rich, so I, I don't get me wrong. I see you, you can't go overboard with chocolate but because that's so rich, but that's a really good chocolate lava cake. All right, the blue Hawaii now. Having to rapidly transition my taste buds. Coconut between the layers of cake. Coconut cream, that's good. So far, dessert is my favorite part of this buffet, outside of maybe the crab legs. That banana cream pie should be called extreme banana cream pie. Also very good. All right, so everything I had from the dessert section has been absolutely excellent. If I had known that, I might have just skipped the Latin section, gone two times to the dessert station. Well, there you have it, guys. It's been 88 minutes. I'm going to try to finish this as quickly as possible. And since they're going to want to turn this table really fast, I'm going to have to get out of here just as soon as I finish eating. I'll wrap this up when I get back to the hotel room. Okay, well, when they say 90-minute time limit, they mean a 90-minute time limit. I'm back in my hotel room because I ran out of time at the Bacchanal Buffet. Was I asked to leave? No, but they definitely keep an eye on your ticket. It's got the time you were seated printed right on it. First off, I thought the food quality at the Bacchanal was really good. I didn't have anything that wasn't good. Some things were better than others. My favorites were definitely the Asian section and the dessert section. And of course the seafood, most people who are going to the buffet, trying to get their money's worth, they're loading up on crab legs. I'm usually no different. This time around I didn't eat that many, but I was trying to film and try to show you guys as much variety as possible. So the seafood section definitely was the most popular section on the buffet. So is the Bacchanal Buffet worth $80 for dinner or $85 if you come on the weekends? Well, that's completely up to you. It's your wallet, not mine. I will tell you this, if you're trying to film your meal and make a YouTube video out of it, 90 minutes is absolutely not enough time. I'm not sure 90 minutes is even enough time for anybody to truly get their money's worth at $80 or $85 a person for dinner. Hey, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for coming along. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future. We'll see you in that next video because there's always more for us to show you on Show Me Vegas.